Hello and welcome to Geek Up Play Studio. This is Amy Chopin and I'm bringing to you what is new in View 7. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking to those extreme users, those people who like to pair up their view with their different applications that they like to use. And some of these applications might be Maya, 3D, Max, Lightwave, Cinema 4D, and XSI. And in our case here today, we're going to be working with XSI from Soft Image. And when you integrate these now, when you install a new version of View 7, you're going to find that it's very easy, just a simple check mark to have you integrate with the other application and you'll find all the applications are there and you can check mark them all. No longer do you have to buy a separate license to integrate view with each different application and so that's going to save you quite a bit right there all by itself if you're especially if you're working with um, several of those applications and once you do that um, you'll find that um, sometimes with one or two more steps and sometimes with no steps at all view is going to be right in the menu of the application you're working with. In the case of XSI, we have it right here in our top menu bar here, and it's very easy to access. In some places, it's in a slightly different place, but very easy to get to. And if you click on it, you'll find everything in view comes through in a drop-down menu. No longer do you have to have view open in a different place and have it um, doing something in view and then having it update in the other application. Now you can just access it directly in the application. And the team at Eon Software has um, worked closely with the developers of the other applications, so it runs very smoothly and is very easy to do. And as you open this up, you can see everything you like to do in view. So for instance, if I wanted to create an object here, I have all the objects that we're familiar with and like to use the height field terrain and the procedural terrain that we talked about previously in this series. Um, we have our plant and so meta clouds, everything. And so I want to create a plant here. So if I click on this, it's going to take a little while to run, but we'll get a plant created and pretty soon this pops up there's our plant if I'm in this I can move forward a little bit and you'll see that we have this tree here and if I select this I can do anything I can manipulate it right within the XSI thing I can turn it around or do anything I want with it so that's a pretty nifty thing there. So not only can I manipulate it within XSI here, I can also manipulate it using our view tools. So I have this plant selected. I go back to view extreme. And if I want to edit the plant, I go to the object again. And I go to edit object. And this is a way that we navigate in view too. Sometimes um, you either double click on it or you're or if you want to go this way you can go to edit object and if you edit object it will open up the appropriate editor and here since I'm editing a plant I've opened up the plant editor so now I can change this around however I want and it's going to do whatever it is I want you know I can make some of these branches really long make it look really funny and gnarl them up a lot and I click OK um, I don't want it to be an animated over time so no I'm just kind of messing around with it and you can see it's thinking about it a little bit and then it's going to change this plant the way I wanted it to and there we go view and XSI working together perfectly in this case. 
you'll find there's just a lot that you can do with this and that you'll have a lot of fun exploring all the different ways that you can use Vue within um, what might be your favorite application. Um, because all these applications have their different strengths and it just works really well when you put them together, marry them together, and work with them. Thank you for watching this Geek of Play tutorial. If you have any questions, if you want to learn more about Vue, please visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com and check out our new book that is coming out in May of 2009. And you can see that at www.viewfromthegroundup.com.